be joined now by the new head coach for the Washington Patriots football team, head coach Terry Ray, just getting approved last night via the the Jefferson County Board of Education vote last night. And Coach Ray, how are you doing today? I'm doing well. It's been a busy past little while for you. You get you probably hear what probably about three three four weeks ago that uh, you're the guy who's going to be waiting for the Board of Education meeting which usually comes in the middle of December, had to wait until January because of the holiday. Yes, sir. It, it, was, a, it was a wait, like scratching the walls waiting. And, Coach, uh, hi, this is Nick Verzellini, first of all, and congratulations on getting uh, the job. Um, for Washington, it seems like one of the key things that they, I guess, would be looking for from their new head coach is to try to get more players on the roster, one of the smallest rosters in all of AAA. Uh, is that something that you think is a, is a big goal? And I guess how do you try to get more kids excited about the football team? Uh, that is a goal for us at Washington. We need to get more kids out on the football team. School of our size, we should have about 70 to 75 players on the team. Uh, I need to get in the building. Uh, we start weight training this t- uh, today. I got board approved. I'm allowed in there now. We're going to start now. I'm going to get around the school. We got to start getting a buzz. I got to start walking the hallways and finding kids and getting them interested in playing football. What are some other things that you want to establish into this Washington Patriot program, Go Trey? Uh, I know under Coach Simpson, uh, they were a single-wing football team. Uh, I'm more of a spread-type football team. We're multiple. Uh, We like to run the ball and throw the ball. Uh, That's something that will be new to Washington for the past few years. I know Coach Simpson's been in a single wing, so we're going to open up the offense. And, Coach, you come from Berkeley Springs, but by way, I believe, of the northern panhandle, what uh, were some of the things that you've taken uh, from your time coaching throughout the state? Uh, I started my career in Brook County in the Northern Panhandle, I made a stop at Weir High School for about five years, and then I've made my way out this way. Uh, I've taken from my past experiences, i got to evaluate our team, see where we're at, see what we have and what will work what with the kids we have. Coach, you come over uh, from Berkeley Springs. That was your first uh, head coaching job. What were some things that you learned uh, with that job that you hope to bring to Washington? Uh, my first year as the head coach out here, we had a pretty good year. We just missed the playoffs by a, a, like two computer points or something like that. Uh, we had a solid senior class that year. Uh, last year, we were 0-10. Uh, we were a young team. We were replacing a lot of skilled guys who put up a lot of numbers for us. Uh, one thing I took from that was uh, being patient and not worrying about the, the, the win-loss column so much as to preparing the team for the next season. Uh, I'm leaving Berkeley Springs with a bunch of kids. Uh, they're going to have about 20 20- starters coming back that got plenty of experience as sophomores and juniors and we had a couple freshmen in there coach Ray with that being said now the transition to Washington as you mentioned you get to finally go into the high school today have you been able to meet with any old coaches on coach Simpson staff or any current players and what has been going on there at Washington for you uh, when I was given the committee uh, select was the term uh, waiting to be board approved. I got to come in and meet with the parents, the players, and uh, some of the community people. Uh, I talked to the kids. Uh, I've got to talk to several of the coaches. Uh, we're going to keep a couple coaches on from the staff if they're willing to stay. Uh, I, I have a relationship with a few of the coaches from Washington High School from before, just from out here being in the Eastern Panhandle. But uh, we've been talking. And Coach, you know, looking at this roster for Washington from last year, a lot of seniors, but a lot of juniors and sophomores that uh, gained some experience playing. Yes. uh, The one thing I've been doing the last couple weeks is watching a lot of film on the kids from last year uh, that are coming back and some of the kids that are leaving. Uh, I'm in the evaluation process. Uh, I'm, I'm excited to see what we can do with the kids out there and putting them in our system. And, Coach, you come into uh, the EPAC, and obviously uh, not only is the EPAC dominated typically by Martinsburg, but uh, the AAA. So, you know, you have that team there toward the top, but the four teams uh, in the Eastern Panhandle made the playoffs last year. So it's a very tough conference that you're entering, Coach. And uh, how do you get Washington, I guess, to be a part of that playoff success? 
Well, one of the exciting things about this job was the fact that it's in the EPAC, and you are right. The EPAC usually has about four teams in the playoffs every year in AAA. Uh, I think it it's a challenge. It's a, it's a great chapter. It's something that I wanted to take on and give the opportunity to do. Uh, we're going to have to work. We, we need to get gritty. Uh, that's that's my mentality. We, we just got to get tough and gritty and see what we can do. Coach Ray, I want to go back to a answer that you just said about two questions ago. It was that you're in the evaluation process, and I just wanted to see if you'd go into a little bit more detail about what your evaluation has been like so far for your players that are still in the program. Uh, I'm, we've been looking at the kids because uh, – if you're looking at a single wing offense, watching a single wing offense, you really can't judge how much with uh, quarterbacks. But running back wise, uh, lineman wise, stuff like that, we've done evaluations. Defensively, uh, we'll be a four two five multiple defense, so we'll still run three three stack. We'll run three four. We'll run a four man front. We'll always do different stuff like that. So that transition is not going to be is more difficult for the kids. That'll be kind of uh, familiar. So we're seeing how kids work out and play in the positions that we're looking for. Uh, I've got to meet the kids a couple of times, but face and names right now aren't 100%. That's why I can't wait to get in there today and start getting around these kids, meeting the kids, and building relationships. From what I've been reading, you're a defensive-minded head co- or defensive-minded coach. You were a defensive coordinator at Berkeley Springs in 2020. Uh, what uh, what are you kind of doing with the offense? Are you bringing in an offensive coordinator, or uh, are you going to keep the guy one on staff, or what are we doing with that? Do you even know yet? I I've I, I'm a defensive backgrounded guy, but I've coached offense and offensive positions. Uh, right now, I'm I'm trying to. I have a couple spots I think are going to be open for the staff. I've been talking to my AD and principal markets about what's going to be available, and we'll see what we're going to bring on coaching staff. Coach, uh, I guess I get kind of the off-season plan for your team, and uh, you mentioned trying to get more kids out on the field, but are there other things that you're looking to do, I guess, to set the tone for the year? Uh as soon as we hit the off season today, we're going to get in there and start working. We need to be in the weight room. That's going to set the foundation for what we're going to do this summer. Uh, once I get into the school, because right now I'm still at Berkeley Springs, once I can get into the school teaching, it, uh, it might change a little bit more, and I can see what we got to do. But uh, last night was the first night when they voted me in that I'm officially allowed in the building and start moving around the building and talking to people. So I'm excited to get in there and start talking to everyone and seeing what Washington High School is all about. The process for you, what was it like, and why did you choose to go after this head coaching role at Washington? Uh, My goal was always to be a head football coach, even when I started way back in the the mid-2000s as a coach. Uh, But I I wanted to be in AAA football. I started my career at Brook High School. It's AAA school. AAA is the biggest uh, division in West Virginia. It was a good opportunity. Uh, The facilities are really nice out at uh, Washington High School. Uh, there's a lot of kids. Uh, the area is a, a really healthy area. Uh, I was excited about the uh, the opportunity to start something new, a new challenge, uh, a new chapter in my career. All right, Coach Ray, thanks for the time, and we'll be talking soon. I appreciate it. Thank you, guys. That was head coach for the now Washington Patriots, former Berkeley Springs head coach Terry Ray, takes over the program officially last night with the vote from the Jefferson Board of Education. And, uh, Colin, you're a Berkeley Springs guy, so you kind of know somewhat about the – not a lot because you've been focused here on the EPAC, but you know some of the background of that Berkeley Springs program and uh, what he could bring potentially to this Washington team. Yeah, I know, as he mentioned two years ago, almost – making the playoffs and even though it was from a distance I was still trying to follow along every single week with that potential that unfortunately didn't occur because it would have been the first time since 2007 that Berkeley Springs made the playoffs so it would have been a special moment for them but hopefully uh, he's leaving the program in good hands obviously and hopefully it will be exciting to see his era at Washington. Yeah and we'll uh, talk to him probably some more throughout the spring uh, 